Hey there everybody, welcome back and thanks for joining me again. I'm going to do uh, another electrical video. This one's going to be about aluminum wiring. In fact, I just uh, finished recording about a week ago the how to wire a light switch video. You can see the, the switches and lights still on the board over there. Uh, but the aluminum wiring has become an issue for some people or a perceived issue. If you're looking to buy or sell a home or if you're uh, just you know living in a home that has aluminum wiring and I just wanted to talk about that to either put your mind at ease or let you know what you need to do to be able to uh, make sure you feel safe in a home with aluminum wiring. I'm going to give you a little bit of history about aluminum wiring. I also have an article that I might link to down below in the uh, in the comments where you can read uh, an in-depth version of this. I'll give you some history and what the concerns are and how to take care of it uh, in the home. If, if you're living in the home or if you're thinking about buying a home that has aluminum wiring, I want to put your mind at ease with that. So the first thing is, is that aluminum wiring was used primarily in the 60s and early 70s as a cheaper way for builders to wire your home. Copper had become very expensive at the time and uh, they wanted to you know, go to the cheap route and wire with, with aluminum. In fact, I've seen uh, situations where they'd go so cheap as to use as few, as few breakers as possible and you know string rooms together all in the same line, which is gonna create problems also. So the thing is with aluminum wiring is that um, the difference between aluminum and copper is this. Well, let me show you first. I've got um, on the left hand side a piece of aluminum and the right a piece of copper. So you can see the differences there. And the thing is is that uh, copper is, uh, is a lot uh, harder and aluminum is softer than copper. And the aluminum wire will get little nicks and sometimes when you're trying to work with it, it'll, the tip will break off. So when you get these little little nicks in it, it creates a hot point. And that hot point you know, can create enough heat where it could you know, melt wire caps like this. I've seen these things melt before. Or even uh, the side of your outlet or your light switch where it becomes too hot. So uh, the fact that it's soft is, is a bit of a problem. And then the other thing is, is it... Uh, aluminum wiring has something called creeping and what it is is um, as the aluminum wiring gets hot it expands and then it contracts when it gets cool and it eventually could wiggle itself loose or creep out of the connection point at your outlet or light switch so that's why they call it creeping and so and also as it starts to wiggle and get loose because it's not tight that also creates a hot point okay and then the final thing is is Sometimes the aluminum oxidizes a bit and you know copper also oxidizes or rusts also but the difference is is that the oxidation that occurs on aluminum wiring does not conduct electricity whereas the oxidation on copper wire is all is a conductor of electricity so it causes more problems when you have oxidation with aluminum wiring so now how do you take care of it if you're concerned about aluminum wiring in your in the house that you're living in or that you might buy, what are the concerns? Well, the first thing is, you need to know this, is that not all insurance companies will insure a home that has aluminum wiring. So you need to make sure if you're gonna purchase a home with aluminum wiring that you do, re do your research and find an insurance company that will insure you. So um, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is that um, you, know, you might find that uh, some inspectors will uh, will recommend various things like a, the rewiring of a home. You do not have to rewire your entire house with copper wire. It's very expensive. There are, there are ways to take care of this without doing a rewire. If you felt more comfortable in providing some copper wire in, in your aluminum wire house, then I think the best compromise would be to run uh, copper to the, the areas that carry the most, uh, that use the most current. So for example, run a copper line to each bathroom because someone's going to be using hair dryers and those kinds of things and they use a lot of power and that's where a lot of the issues can come into play so you can run a copper uh, line to your bathrooms if you like and maybe your kitchen you know definitely your microwave for example so if you take those extreme hot points out you're going to find that you're you're going to have fewer issues especially today with you know LED bulbs they use much less power than the incandescent bulbs of the past so you could eliminate most of your problems by running a copper line to those, those points. 
So now we're going to go to the workbench to show you some of the other options that you have. Okay, so we're at the bench now, and the first thing you can do if you're concerned with aluminum wiring in the house is to swap out all of your outlets and light switches with the CU slash AL outlets, ALR outlets. So it's a copper to aluminum uh, outlet, for example, and here's one that's just, uh, you can get your local home improvement store, and it's this, these, uh, screws here these uh, these outlets will accept aluminum wiring and will uh, perform better with aluminum than your traditional copper so here's a, a light switch where you know, you've got copper fittings here okay so if you've got an aluminum wire attached to a copper fitting that's where you're gonna have a lot more of your problems come in with the uh, the expansion and the shrinking and everything so these things just cost a couple of dollars each and uh, this is probably the most cost-effective way to uh, to go around the house and uh, deal with the aluminum wiring issue that you might have you do not have to hire an electrician for this which is the other benefit if you're comfortable using electricity just uh, turn the power off and uh, test it if you don't know how to test it I have a video that shows you how to test to see whether or not the, uh, the there's power to an outlet or a light switch and I also have uh, one that shows you how to uh, to test which breaker controls it too because sometimes that's the issue you don't know which breaker is going to be able to uh, flip off the power for you so anyhow so this is the first thing you can do is swap out the outlets and the light switches to the CO slash ALR versions so the next thing is is you hear a lot about pigtailing okay and what pigtailing or crimping involves is uh, taking a, uh, a copper in uh, you know crimping a copper and an aluminum wire and there's an industrial type of machine that or crimper that puts an extreme force on, on the two together and es essentially fuses them together that's pretty cost effective an electrician definitely has to do it it is um, in my opinion not the recommended way to go but that that is an option for you you know the other the other option you have here like I said is pigtailing and instead of just using a regular wire nut which you don't want to do because this is this is not uh, served to, to handle both aluminum and copper together what you want to do is get uh, some of these uh, twister caps for uh, aluminum and copper looks like this okay and it's got some of that uh, compound inside to prevent the oxidation so inside here it's it feels like grease quite honestly and if you looked at it and you pulled it out afterwards it would look and feel like grease what you want to do is twist these two together the copper and the aluminum uh, together and then uh, affix this uh, this cap it's got the compound inside and you're gonna have uh, better results using that compound when fusing these these together twisting them together that way so if you've got one of these coming into your outlet box or your switch if your or your light switch box, you can then run a very short, you know, four, five, six inch jumper to go to your your outlet or your light switch, cap them off together like this, and then now you've got a uh, a copper connection going to your switch or your your outlet. Okay, so that. Um, that's one thing that a lot of people do. These these packs are not cheap. Each one of these is anywhere from I don't know maybe two fifty to three to three dollars and fifty cents each, depending on where you find it. You can shop. Around. I'm going to link to this down below uh, as one place you can get it, so you can at least see what it is. You can buy it at your local home improvement store if they have them. But like I said, they are a little expensive. Okay. Um, this could be the route to go for you if you're looking to just to save costs. The only thing is is that I don't like uh, taking an old aluminum wire, and it's going to be old now, right? Because we said that that these things weren't around since uh, since the '60s and '70s, and then trying to bend it and and um, you know around here and tighten it down. I just kind of prefer to go the route of uh, pigtailing. Now. There is yet another option for you that I want to show you. These 
Illumicon connectors, okay? So you can, I'm gonna definitely link to this below because the home improvement stores do not typically carry this. Here's what it looks like, okay? And they sell these in three, two, and even four. So the three, oh, well, first I'll explain exactly how this works and then, um, and then why you'd get one in three and two and four, okay? So what you would do is this would be in your, in your electrical uh, outlet box or switch box, and you take the uh, aluminum wire, for example, you'd run it in, okay? And then you'd, you'd tighten it down. Okay, that's tight. And then you would take your your uh, copper wire and do the same. Now, if you you would use the uh, the triple version of this uh, Illumicon connector, if you were then going out to another outlet or to the switch or whatever, okay. And then at that point, you could be you'd be likely taking your other aluminum wire. And running it, and it's going where it's going to the next place. Now this is going to go to your your outlet or your or your switch. Okay. Um, now you, I think, I mean, I like these better. It also has the compound inside here as well, the antioxidation compound. It's in it's in here. Um, you would you would use the triple when the copper wire or the aluminum wire is is going to be moving from from one to the next, okay? If you've got uh, the, the uh, aluminum wiring coming into an outlet box, for example, and then it continues to go to the next one, you use a triple. If this is the, uh, the end of the line, okay, or the light switch just has, has one coming in, then what you'll do is you, just, you can just go get the, uh, the double, not the triple, cost you a little bit less, and then you can manage it that way. If you're gonna redo this for your entire house, you'll probably figure all that out and buy a bag full of the threes, a bag full of the twos. When you're done, you just uh, snap it shut here, and that's it. Uh, this stays inside nice and neat, and it's actually easier than twisting. The reason I like this better is because, like I said to you earlier, aluminum wiring is pretty brittle, and when you're, you're twisting, and I've done this, because I've lived in a house with aluminum wiring. When you're, when you're twisting together, uh, you already have them twisted. It sometimes you're twisting it with your pliers to twist the wires together before putting the nut on there. I've had the the little ends snap off of uh, of aluminum. It it happens because they get brittle. They're soft. So uh, I I like these better. This is going to cost you just at least three three fifty each. I'll just say that. So you know you're going to have two of these in each in each uh, outlet. So you figure. You know, six dollars to seven dollars per outlet for peace of mind, and then you just need to cut yourself some, you know, short jumpers to go to the either the outlet or the light switch. So, uh, again, I'm linking to these things down below. I really think that um, these two things are your are your best options. You've got this too, the um, CU ALR. Uh, uh, Outlets and, and light switches is another another option for you, uh, but you do not have to be con you know that concerned with aluminum wiring if you do what we talked about. Make sure your connection points are okay. Make sure you've got them um, pigtailed or using one of these one of these uh, uh, pieces or components, and I think you're going to be fine. The only other thing you need to do is just make sure you're able to find homeowners insurance while having aluminum wiring. So hopefully this, this helps. If you need uh, anything else, if any comments or questions, just post them below. I'll try to respond. I'm sure there will be some electricians in there responding to, to you as well. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and stop by to see the next one. Thank you.